ask Tom on home show. Michelle from Washington, Texas has a poly problem question. <laughs> it's a poly problem with her floor time, and it's not a question we haven't heard before. Uh, Michelle writes, I have hardwood pine pier and beam house and, uh, and, and pine wood floors in my pier and beam house. She says the house is 70 years old and she says it was refinished 12 years ago with a polyurethane finish and it just looks horrible. She says we're going to sand it down and keep the natural color and wax it per your video. The things that we've talked about in the past, Tom. But she says, do I need to seal it with oil or something else prior to the application of that wax? First off, it's not an oil sealer, but it is a hardwood sealer, and it goes on very simple. Usually, you just get you get guys will get on their hands and knees and start spreading it down with rags and just wiping it in and giving a nice uniform kind of a wet look to it. It's a, it'll be clear. It'll have a little bit of a of a change of color, or just maybe a richness to the wood. I think is a better way to explain it. And then once that dries, you go back and you apply the wax and you just buff the wax in and it just warms the wood up very nicely. It, it makes a beautiful finish. It's a little bit of maintenance to it. You have to buff it up once in a while, uh, but it will last longer. The floor will lay flatter because of the fact that the top and the bottom will expand and contract evenly. So you don't get it cupping like you do with a urethane. A urethane uh, will scratch. It will you'll have problems with it where it'll discolor in places and it makes the wood cup because it doesn't breathe properly now the beauty of the wax is if you have a spot that you ruined it let's say you had a plant that you overwatered, and it turned it all black you can refinish that area you can use a little oxalic acid get the blackness out of the wood get the wood back to its original look it won't be perfect but it'll blend nicely then they'll go ahead and put the sealer on and then they just buff up the whole floor around the area so it blends with the urethane you have to lap the entire surface from room to room to room or you'll see a change right where you stop so it's really hard to uh to fix if you have a problem. I love the wax. When I was in the building business, I would not do a urethane floor on a traditional wood floor. I refused to do it for the clients. One time the client said, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have my own guy do it. He did it. The client was nice enough to call me back six months later and said, Tom, you were right, all the wood cupped. And I said, I'm sorry. And mm -hmm. that was the last time I ever talked to him. I didn't fix it. It was He had to get somebody else to fix it. It's because the because it's trapping the moisture and not letting it breathe front to yeah, the now, top you know we're in houston or washington texas which is you know it, it's hot down by victoria and, i think yeah yeah it's gulf coast i drive by it back and forth as i go back and forth to brownsville to houston all the time and uh it, you're going to get uh, moisture problems because of the humidity so it's not in arizona or nevada nor would i want to be there i like being down on the gulf coast so this is my area of the world i've chosen but uh the floors they have to be treated differently things are treated differently in different parts of the country and that's just the way it is i was uh in pennsylvania a couple weeks ago and i looked over and i think there are all the the registers in the floor Yes. And, and where we live here, they're in the ceiling. <laughs> so it's just. Well, it's because it's heating and it's basement. Right. I, right. I know Pennsylvania very well. My mother's family from Scranton. Uh, mm -hmm. So I've been going to Pennsylvania my entire yep. life. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're a Scranton scrapper too? I am. Well, we actually came from Carbondale, which is outside of Scranton. But okay. Scranton was the big town you fly into. That's where right. the Holiday Inn is. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's one of those things. It's, it's, like, it's like where the D, where you find the DQ is that that's the town. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Okay. It's changed right. a lot since then. But as far as that goes, yeah, the, the heating system, you want the heat in the floor because the heat rises. With air conditioning, you want the registers in the ceiling because the whole cold air drops. So we worry about air conditioning in the Gulf Coast. They worry about heating in Pennsylvania and other places in the Northeast. And the floor is a perfect place for it. Plus, the kids get to drop toys and stuff down in the registers and you never see them again. It's not the kids, the stuff they drop down. The opinions of Tom Tyner do not necessarily reflect the management. <laughs> yes. Okay. But if you'd like to ask Tom uh, his opinion, we'd love to answer your question. Go ahead and visit homeshowradio.com. Click on that Ask Tom button over there. Fill out a form or send us a video, right. and Tom will answer your question in a video that we will post to our uh, Facebook page, our YouTube channel, or even right there on homeshowradio.com. We post a new one every day year-round.